In the lively world of 1976 television, a sitcom graced the screens, winning hearts and leaving a lasting impact on the industry. The adventures of two inseparable friends, Laverne and Shirley, became a household favorite. What makes this show a timeless symbol of the industry? Is it the infectious chemistry between the leading ladies or the relatable, everyday humor that keeps audiences hooked? As you explore the world of Laverne and Shirley, get ready for a roller coaster of emotions. The series unfolds with a mix of funny, surprising, and even touching moments, making it a journey worth taking. So, keep watching for the surprises that lie ahead. When did you first tune in to the escapades of these two friends? Whether during its original run or through later viewings, the show has a way of etching itself into memories. Now, share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this beloved sitcom. Your connection to the show is a piece of its enduring legacy. So, join the conversation and let the nostalgia flow. Your anecdotes are the missing pieces to this classic TV puzzle. We can't wait to hear your tales. What enduring qualities do you think make this TV series a lasting symbol of the industry? When was the first time you watched it? What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to the show? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. The television series Laverne and Shirley, produced in the late 1970s as a spin-off of the well-received Happy Days, remains an underrated comedy gem. Set in Wisconsin during the late 1950s and early 1960s, the show focuses on two blue-collar women, portrayed skillfully by Penny Marshall and Cindy Williams, navigating life independently. Despite initial critical dismissal, revisiting the series underscores its enduring popularity. Marshall and Williams portray good-hearted, hard-working characters with comedic flair. The inclusion of slapstick humor, though frowned upon at the time, contributes to the show's timeless appeal, distinguishing it from contemporaries like All in the Family or Maud, which now seem more dated. The duo's chemistry, Marshall delivering memorable lines, and Williams excelling as a comedian and adept straight woman forms the core of the show. Supporting characters, including the comical greasers Lenny and Squiggy, Shirley's steadfast boyfriend Carmine, and others enhance the overall ensemble. Noteworthy moments, such as a murder mystery-themed train trip and a crossover episode with Happy Days featuring a hilarious square dance, showcase the series' comedic prowess. However, challenges arose when the production moved from Milwaukee to California to cut costs. The addition of new characters like Leslie Easterbrook and Ed Marinero failed to fully integrate into the established dynamic, leading to the departure of key cast members like Betty Garrett. The final blow came with the acrimonious departure of Cindy Williams due to contract disputes, leaving the show without its trademark dynamic. Despite attempts with guest stars like Vicki Lawrence, Carrie Fisher, and Lorraine Newman, the series concluded on a muted note. While the later seasons face challenges, the majority of the show is filled with hilarity and uplifting fun, making Laverne and Shirley a standout in the comedy genre. Cindy Williams, one of the main actors in the TV show, claimed that her leaving the series was because of her pregnancy. However, the producers strongly denied this. The different stories about why Williams left create an interesting behind-the-scenes drama. In a surprising turn of events, Fred Dreyer, who used to play as a defensive end for the L. Rams, made his first appearance on television with a short role as a lifeguard in Laverne's Dream in the sixth season's first episode. This unexpected appearance brought a sports element to the show, giving fans a memorable moment. In the early episodes, Shirley Feeney had a New York accent, but under Gary Marshall's guidance, this was changed to a Midwest accent for authenticity. Shirley appreciated this change, showing how working together shaped the characters on the show. The series, set in 1950s and 1960s Wisconsin, kept its charm despite challenges such as moving production from Milwaukee to California. Introducing new characters like Leslie Easterbrook and Ed Marinero faced resistance, leading to the departure of key cast members like Betty Garrett. Cindy Williams leaving the show due to contract issues marked a turning point, and efforts to revive it with guest stars didn't capture the original magic. The series ended on a quieter note, highlighting how the relationships among the cast influenced the show's success. Despite controversies, unexpected appearances, and character changes, Laverne and Shirley stands out in TV history. Its ongoing popularity speaks to the connection between the main actresses and the relatable humor that resonated with viewers, proving its significance in television.
1976, Cindy Williams took a brief hiatus from the show, protesting the unequal distribution of lines favoring Penny Marshall. Remarkably, she returned just two days later, indicating a resolution to the internal dispute. Penny Marshall's reluctance to return for the eighth season stemmed from Cindy Williams' decision to depart after only a few episodes. While on vacation, Marshall faced a legal ultimatum from ABC, compelling her return. Negotiations ensued, resulting in Marshall's return with a demand for double the episode pay and increased ownership stakes. However, tensions arose when it was revealed that Williams also received ownership for episodes she wasn't part of in season 8, creating a discord that lingered. As season 8 concluded with decent ratings, ABC sought Marshall's return for a ninth season. However, Marshall insisted on a substantial salary boost and relocating the series to New York. ABC rejected these demands, leading to the series' conclusion. In a timeline shift, when the girls moved to Burbank, the show fast-forwarded two five years, transitioning from spring 1962 to autumn 1964, adding a dynamic twist to the narrative. Navigating challenges such as relocating production from Milwaukee to California and introducing new characters like Leslie Easterbrook and Ed Marinero, the show faced a changing dynamic. Cindy Williams' departure marked a turning point and attempts to rejuvenate with guest stars like Vicki Lawrence, Carrie Fisher, and Lorraine Newman fell short, resulting in a muted conclusion. The unforeseen appearance of Fred Dreyer, a former LA Rams player, brought a unique sports element to the show, leaving fans with a memorable moment. Additionally, the initial New York accent of Shirley Feeney, later adjusted to a Midwest accent under Gary Marshall's guidance, exemplified the collaborative evolution of characters on the show. Despite controversies, unexpected appearances, and character changes, Laverne and Shirley remains a standout in television history. Its enduring popularity speaks to the connection between the main actresses and the relatable humor that resonated with viewers, proving its significance in television. In 1976 television, Laverne and Shirley stood out as a sitcom gem, making its mark in the industry's history. Shirley, one half of the dynamic duo, had a unique talisman, Boo Boo Kitty, a cloth cat serving as her good luck charm. This quirky detail added a touch of personality to her character, connecting with viewers. When Cindy Williams left the show during the 1982-1983 season due to pregnancy, the storyline took a turn. Shirley moved from their shared apartment following her husband Walter's job transfer abroad. This move cleverly addressed the absence of a key character, showcasing the show's adaptability to real-life situations. Interaction between the characters of Laverne and Shirley and Happy Days was a notable feature, especially in the shared setting of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. This connection with another popular show added an extra layer of engagement for viewers, creating a shared universe that enhanced the viewing experience. Despite the challenges faced by the series, including a change in production location from Milwaukee to California, the core charm endured. The introduction of new characters, attempts to revive the show with guest stars, and unforeseen appearances brought twists to the narrative. However, the show's enduring popularity underscores the deep connection between the main actresses and the relatable humor that captivated audiences. The show's resilience and popularity highlight the profound connection between the main actresses and the humor that resonated with audiences. This connection persisted despite changes and challenges, demonstrating the enduring charm of Laverne and Shirley. 